dwells therein. But the Lord's adversary, the devil, tries tirelessly to gain control of the world and its inhabitants. Man, a priceless subject of God, becomes the devil's primary target and his soul the devil's paramount interest. Yet man is given the options to choose, either to follow the ways of his creator or the ways of the adversary. His choice determines his fate and end. Our decision to oblige to the good counsel of the spirit or yield to the spirit of the flesh lost. In the account of the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 16. Yes, Romans chapter 6, verse 16, it says, Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey? You are that one's slaves to obey. Whether of sin to death. Are of obedience to righteousness. 
At no point is there a vacuum. Your spirit is either administered to by the spirit of God or by the spirit of the devil. But thank God as born again in Christ Jesus. Our spirit will be communicated by the spirit of God so that the devil will continually lose the battle again and again and again. Come someone say hallelujah! Brethren, the Spirit of God still has more to say. But because of our limited time, we will stop here so far to continue in our next evening service. Shall we stand on our feet as we are about to pray now? Stand on our feet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this very moment. We exalt your holy name because you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of all equal powers. Father, we ask that your spirit should dwell in us and fulfill the spirit of God in us, that the devil will continually lose the battle in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your name as I pray. Yes, I'm alright. I'm just reflecting on the goodness of the Lord and all he has done for us since we got married. God is scared. Come, let me see something. Come here. Contain their joy, overwhelmed by my little thought of Ben Burns. They are faithful servants, and their faithfulness I have rewarded. Lucifer must be watching this, for his eyes miss nothing, and I know his heart now bleeds of envy. Would 
intends to do harm. Wisdom. Yes, my lord. I hope you won't then of impending danger. Yes, my lord. I inspire the pastor while they positive messages. And he preached them in his sermon. And they were in his service. If they have ears, they will hear my lord. Very well, wisdom. Nothing, my lord. They are faithful to him. Let's pay my attention on those sinners we already have in bondage. Incompetent fool! How fair you! How fair you sow the seed of witness to my folk! Did I bring you with cowardice? I never meant to anger you, my lord. I'm sorry. I am disappointed in you. I do not condone cowardice. And I will not let you contaminate others. Can someone bring a solution to this mockery? You don't bring. Don't you have an idea? Or do you want me to invoke my wrath? And you in your silence? I have an idea, my lord. Darkness. My lord. You have an idea? Yes, my lord. Now let me make myself clear. I lost my place in heaven. And I won't lose my pride in it. Let it be a good idea. Or else, what just happened to Trucus will be nothing compared to what will happen to you now. Boy contractor. Yeah, move on now. Sharply, nothing to you. Hey, Jesus Christ. Sharply, nothing. No, but honestly, I mean, after that testimony, I said, you know, I'm in love with the guy. Fine, you know? God, I'm in love with this guy. <laughs> yeah, check out now. The guy is rich. He's handsome. No, I don't want the money. I just love the guy. Hey, no, no, no. In fact, I'm going to do the new green lights. Let me see if you can. Are you trying to say that you want to attract that guy? To become his girlfriend. Are you out of your mind? Can't you see he's married? Come on, favor. I mean, my man pays all these days than all these single, useless bachelors. Eh? Come on now. So you're supporting her? Instead of you to tell her that what she's planning is evil. 
Hey, dear. Hey, but when I know out of three of us, I mean, I like trouble pass. You better come to give her my trouble now. <laughs> no, check and balance and see how it is. Table, I'm begging you in God's name. Please, don't teach me morals. I don't know who you think you are. I beg, I get birth for my children, not for shouts. I beg. Well, I am a child of God, an ambassador of the word of righteousness. Is <laughs> this the ambassador? I beg. Since you don't reveal us sinners, why not relocate to another thing? So that we don't go contaminate you. Eh? That will not be possible because you're my friends. And it is my obligation to teach you the word of God. Ever. I'm begging you in God's name. Don't teach us the word of God. We don't want to hear your holier than thou character. And besides, we came here to have lunch. Please, I beg, let us have lunch in peace. Eh? Tell him. Anyway, it's time for choir practice. You guys have to hurry up so that we will not be late. I bet we will not go, go. One of those things, the guy caught my display loud and clear. It was only for me because his wife was there. That's one. <laughs> and I swear, I swear, if I ever get that kind of opportunity again, ah, D, you fall. He must fall. Ah, oh, I can see I that guy. <gasps> I can see that. I mean, you really did what I would never do in my life. I could not have done in my life. Are you crazy? Honestly. Hey, you've got cars. Listen, you have to take lots of risks to get what you want. That is what I'm doing. Baby, oh, come on, girl, man. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. God. <sighs> honestly, as in really, I mean sincerely, you're honestly going to sit down there and read the Bible? You cannot. That is because we are discussing something extremely important here. After now, you say we are disturbing you. Is that important enough for you? What's important discussion, if I may ask? I, I overheard everything from the room, and I know who you're talking about. But let me warn you: that man is a child of God. Hey. Refrain from your evil plans. The devil is trying to use you. Hey. Excuse me, favor. I mean, what's your problem? Why can't you for once mind your business or oh, beg? <laughs> Why can't you just live your life the way you want it and let us live our own the way we want it? Hey. This your born again thing is really eh, getting out of hand and is choking me badly. You better watch your language before it runs into a big problem. Hey! Oh, this oh, Now I have to! Hey, God. God. Favor, listen. I am sick and I am tired of this stupid, uncivilized attitude of yours. Are you listening? What is wrong with you? <gasps> Don't forget, you are an illegal tenant in this house. We agreed for you to stay here against our agreement with the landlord. So if you don't behave yourself, oh, we might be forced to eject you. And that rejection might be this night. So this is wrong, no? I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody. I am just trying to remind us of what is required of us as true Christians. And the means of accomplishing heaven. Favor. When it go happen, I'm not go day. I'm not go day. What kind of bad luck be this now? Oh. Beg, I beg, I know. I beg, oh, I know one vex. Oh, I get boiled for my throat. I beg, stand up from there. Come go sit down for that side. Go read your Bible. Your tango, stand up. Eh? See people carrying me go ahead when she's still there.
okay, children, I'm before we start with these prayers. I want to ask you, children, have you done your assignments? Yes, Dad. Dad, those assignments were very easy. <laughs> really? Yes, Dad. They are not tough questions still. We study ahead of our school syllabus. Ooh, well, that's, that's quite interesting. I'm going to have to ask your teachers to read ahead of you girls so they can be able to match up your intellectual prowess. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now since that is settled, Who's supposed to lead us in today's prayers? I think it's Jane. No, Jane? Mom, it's not me. I did my turn two nights ago. I think it should be Miriam's turn. Miriam, is it you? Yes, Dad. All right, lead us into these prayers, okay? Okay, Dad. But before I start, I want to make a speech. Dad, on behalf of myself and sister, we want to thank you for the new car you bought our mother. May the Lord in his infinite mercy continue to replenish your pocket so that it shall never run dry. Amen! Amen! <laughs> I will now start with a song. We are God, we together want to be. We are God, we together Like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me stray. Don't let me. Don't stray. let my good heart cause me sorrow. But abstract that, I think we met at a car bomb where we practically bumped to each other. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, where are you headed? Actually, I'm heading towards my office around Weber Road. I was actually waiting for a taxi. Okay, my place is not too far from there. So I could drop you somewhere close, yeah? Hopping, so I can drop you off. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, lovely. I'm Raymond. It's nice to meet you, Raymond. Nice to meet you. How are you? That's my office over there. But since you're going farther, I would. Uh... All right, you can use this for ticket access. Oh, honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I've got money with me. Hey, take it. Listen, this is from my heart. You didn't ask for it. All right? I'll use it for lunch or something, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, that kind of thing. That's my card. Thank you. 
Feel free to call me anytime you can. Certainly. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Take care. I remember you. How are you doing? I'm fine. No, no, you don't sound you don't sound okay. What's the problem? Yes, there's a problem. But 
I don't want to bother you with my problems. Okay. Um, okay, my lunch is in 20 minutes. So, uh, could we meet at Deluxe Fast Food very, just around my office? Then we'll talk about the problem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. How was that? I swear. You were so real. <laughs> I never knew you were a wonderful actress. You better go join with you in the industry. You can make more for this wonderful talent. Mm -hmm. Jesus! I feel you for me. That's what I used to feel. I swear. <laughs> so what next? What next? I go to meet him where he asked me to meet him. I tell him my story. Will he believe you? Oh, come on, Trisha. I will make him believe you. Your friend, you are wonderful. <laughs> Seriously, I wish I could be as smart as you are. Men for so far. Relax, girl. You could be smarter. Babe, show your eye, baby. Let me say you talk cool. from today. Honestly, I don't change. <laughs> I don't open the eye. Nothing to you. Come on, go make the keep the game. Ah, let him wait. Listen, Trisha. When you want to hit it big, don't be in a hurry. Men fall easily when you keep them waiting. The fact that I have my face off. Babe, you tight. I vex. Give me five jobs. It's not smarty. It's not smarty. I see I'm so wrong. It's not smarty. Yes. Thank you, Sean. Jamal will be missing. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I was caught up in traffic and my battery ran flat. Okay. Alright, before we start, can I get you something? No, nothing. How about soft drink? Juice? No, I don't want anything. Alright then, okay. So, let's hear it. What is the problem? I've just been sacked from work this morning. Sacked? Why? I don't Yeah, sorry. I got to work this morning. I got there late. And my boss just started shouting and cursing at me. He didn't even ask me why I was late. Then he asked me to leave. He just fired me like that. No, 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 no. no. That, that's wrong. No, that's absolutely wrong. Why would the boss just fire you like that without even listening to you or wondering what the problem is? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Oh. You know what, I want you to know there's always a solution to every problem. Alright? And I take it you need a job immediately. Yes, sir. My poor parents and my six siblings depend oh. so much on me. Uh, okay. Um, I'm opening new branches around and I want some of my old staff that will go to go handle such offices. Um, by the way, what were you doing in your last job? I, I, I was the secretary of the office. I, I was the secretary okay. there. Okay, I, I would need some secretaries. So, um, why don't you bring your, your, your application and your CV, you know, send it straight to my um, admin manager, Mr. DME, tomorrow morning, and then uh, we'll take it up from there. My God, thank you so very much. Nah. I'm honestly so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Your stories and ask questions because they're just like that. Oh, yes. Hey, you consider yourself employed. Oh, God. That is coming so late, girl. As a matter of fact, that application has to be to write. You just fill out your stories. 
I am going to collect my family as the secretary of a record yeah. engineering company as soon as eh. possible. My gadgets they work. I swear. My gadgets are working. Not be saying that. So, I beg, beg, help me, Johnny. Ah! Ah! Lord, see, do you? You mean that just like that? My gadgets are working. I swear. Not be saying that. So, see, I'm so big. Yeah. I bet you. Oh my God. God! She just got a new job. She just got a new job, or she just got a job. You know she didn't have a job before. Faithful, faithful. You don't start. Have you started? You asked the question, and as I was given to you, the boy not take her like that. Why don't you leave it at that? Okay, so where did she get this new job? Is it an oil company or? And how does that concern you? Mm. How does that concern you? I ask you. I heard everything you said. Everything. Let me tell you. I have gotten a very good job. A very good job with a good salary that is better than the pin or the pin. That stupid pure attack of your views. Yes, but I did not like to get my job. You must be very stupid. I don't have a job. I don't have any money, yet I pay my rent, and I accommodate you. Let me inform you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. What matters is getting what you want, not the means. And if it will please you to know, I am going to be working in Raymond Williams' engineering company as a secretary. If you go die now, begin die. Now I understand you have an eye for that man. But I have news for you. That man is the apple of God's eye. You will not succeed in your plans. I'm going to my room. Come back here. Come back here. Come back. Come back. So, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Just let her come now. back and say what she said now. I want me to tell her back to this. Is. Sophia, it's just a mere talk. There's no need fighting over this. Hey, no, but you heard what she said. This thing to me. God. God, you're my witness. So. The day you're when all these things happen, I go show them again. Since she had decided to be my headache in this house, I will be her brother door with extra. I beg. Hi, I beg. This thing being me. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, I beg. Hey! Because you're my weakness, so. You don't say anything that's for change. But God, you're my weakness. I go drink. Yes. This thing vests me. You go drink. This thing vests me. I go show that baby. What is it? Hmm? Why are you not sleeping? I'm fine. Why are you awake up to this time? Nothing, I'm, I'm okay. You don't say anything, I'll let you know. Well, I'm just concerned, you know. Thank you. But there's no need to be worried, okay? I'm okay. Go back to sleep. Just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see to me. Hey, I'll meet my family. This is Jane, Miriam, and uh, of course my wife Anna. Oh. Hi, ma'am. Hi. My name is Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Your husband and I will go way back. Oh yeah. Back in uh, the university days. You remember that soup? Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh man, he really loved it. I love wow. It. It's such a small world. I didn't expect that we'll be meeting anytime soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? Who, who's Miriam? This is Miriam. Okay. okay. Jane? Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. And Miriam, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Right on. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. Hey, my friend, Sylvester. We all came back from the States together. How you doing? Like, fine. Hey, Sly man, Stallone. <laughs> yeah, what state you stay in on the state? Chicago. Chicago, that's cool, that's cool. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. I'll wait for you in the car. Sure. All right, take cool, care. Man. All right. Wait for me by the car, I'll be there. All right. You, you man, so how you doing? Yeah, of course, I love risk, okay, huh? I know what I want, and I'm going straight ahead to get what I want. You know the fear. Get with Please, please not see his family. Mm -hmm. I beg. I beg. I get boy for my truth. Say that. <laughs> say that. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Ray. Sorry, man, but I gotta run. We will meet up. We will meet up. We meet up. You know what I'm saying? Let's meet. You have a car? Yes, yeah, sure. It's kind of Sunday, so we don't usually hold cars with us. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, Can reach me at this number? Okay, cool. Good. I'll give you a call. Give me a call this week, man. We have a lot to catch up on. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. All right, man. Take care. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye. Take Later. care. Ben. God bless. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe we should walk up to those guys for a lift. What do you think? God forbid. I can afford a taxi home. Oh, you think I don't have money for a taxi, eh? This is excuse me. You're not ready. Um, hi. Good afternoon. Yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry to intrude, honestly. I was wondering if I could get a ride, maybe to the first junction, because the money I have on me is not enough. I... That's if you don't mind, madam. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sister. There is no space for you in our car, and we are not going your way. In conclusion, my daddy doesn't have any money to give you either, because he doesn't want a charity organization. You can try somewhere else. Will you both shut up? Can you show some respect? Hey, children. Listen, that is so wrong. As children of God, you should learn to love everybody, even your enemies. Huh? That's how God wants it. Do you understand? And there's nothing wrong in giving a little helping hand. So, apologize to the auntie. We are, we are sorry. sorry. Oh, it's nothing really, no problem. All right. <laughs> Happy to <children. laughs> Thank you so very much, sir. Sweetheart, there's this pathetic story of this lady who, who was unduly sacked by her boss. And the funny thing is, her family members all depend on her. Her parents and her siblings. Well, she came to me and um, expressed these sorrowful de um, details and I actually felt bad for her. Good thing she has experience in secretarial studies. I'm thinking um, I'll appoint her as my secretary. So what happens to Stella? Oh, you know Stella is very hardworking. And she has lots of experience on her hands. So I, I, it's just a thought. I think Stella should head one of the new branches. OK. But this girl you're talking about, did you properly check her background? Apart from her credentials? Because you know that it's against the company rules to employ somebody who is not properly screened, especially somebody who is not a uh, born again Christian. Yeah. But she comes to our church. That doesn't make her a born again Christian, darling. Yeah. Anyway, um, she is the lady we offered a lift this afternoon on our way from church. Anyway, we'll talk about this later, okay? Excuse me. Okay, um, me and sweetheart. I was trying to say that we need to get the shoes. Let's go and knock that door in our bedroom. Because I noticed that now. Babe. Babe. Check this out. 
check out what I'm going to be wearing to work on my first day at work. I put it yesterday. But this looks too sexy. Who does give a bad impression of you at the first day to work? Oh, wake up, Patricia, please. Sex sells. Trust me, the sexy wears you wear to work are the dresses that attract customers. And don't let these big establishments lie to you. What's the success story? <laughs> Well, my concern is that, I mean, you shouldn't give a bad impression at this early stage of work. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for your concern. Besides, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Trust me, girls, sex sells. It does. I know she has the intention of seducing that man, but I'm sorry for her. Because the Bible says, cross is that man that will make his fellow brother fall. The devil is using her, but she doesn't know. Then go and tell her that, and hear what it will result to. I won't be here to separate any fight, though, or even stop her from throwing your things out of her house. She like, don't keep your mouth shut and mind your business. Usually quiet since you came into bed. Are you right? You think that you want to employ as a secretary? The spirit does not accept her. I know you don't like her, but but this girl is going through a lot. She has lots of responsibilities, and she lost her job. Or oh, are you saying I shouldn't help anybody? Anymore? I'm not preventing you from helping people. But my spirit is not comfortable with that girl. We must not ignore this. We must inquire from the Lord. I've well, I've already instructed my ma my manager to to give an appointment letter. To have her start work immediately. Are you not suggesting that I rescind it? That girl does not pose a single threat to me at all. All she needs is help. Darling, never you allow your emotions overrule your sense of reason and what the Lord says. Allow the Lord to make you see from his eyes. Okay? Sophia. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mr. Manager. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, the CEO said you should get him the files of the cement supplies immediately to his office. Oh, okay. guy, ever since I knew him, has always been a late comer. In US, I call him Ben Late. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of his life, he's oh, been yeah. late. Yeah. 
But anyway, he's the one that dropped me off here. Yeah. And he's going to be coming back in a short couple of minutes. Really sorry to intrude, sir. I was told you needed the files to see it. Yeah, on my desk. Yeah. Well, that's, that's quite... Um... Oh. I'm sorry. Is that your secretary right there? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. For real? Yes, why? Man, that girl passed 100% in US. Okay, well, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about what that. Is that. Oh, really? Oh, how Chicago? do you mean? How do you mean? I don't know. Sir. Something like that. Oh, really? For real? Yeah. Oh, Ben is here. Yeah, ask him to come in. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Is that your secretary right there? I mean, that girl passed 100% in the US. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, Benny's here. That guy that came to drop you. What do you say if I open my eyes? I go see. If I open my eyes and I see, in name na Ben. Remember that day at the service that you had to join your boss's car and yes. you told us to find a means of going home? Yeah, babe, I get to hustle now. I had to. So I walked up to this guy and asked for a ride, and he did. And since then, we've been talking. And today, he decided to take me out. So what did he say? <laughs> I did feel you. You really, really shined your eyes. <laughs> I am well, well. Nothing to but be mad. It's a good thing. <laughs> yes. But we are going to have to celebrate. I mean, the guy is... Hmm, it's fine. Sure, that one is certain. Let me just have a close shot, eh? I have plenty gist for you. Trust me. Let me go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy, Ben, he looks like the guy that came to our office today. Anyways, I'm happy for her. That's if he has money. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I should go up and take some rest now. When it's time for fellowship, call me. Mommy, Daddy doesn't seem okay. Something is bothering me. Daddy is fine. He's just tired. Okay, just eat it, okay? Right? Miriam, have you told your father that we're waiting for him to join us in fellowship? He's sleeping. Did you try to wake him? Yes, but she sent me away so that she would allow him to sleep. Mommy, let me go and wake him. Okay. Let me go. Make sure you get ready the ones for the Ministry of Education. Um, for the Ministry of uh, Works. Ministry of Works? Yes. Ministry of Works. Oh, yes. The one I gave to you, yes. I remember. Yes, please get it ready for me, okay? Of course. Um, this is, this is, is there a problem? Oh, um, not at all. I mean, this is just really hard. They're um, working on it, Sophia. Can I get it right now? Of course. Um, sir, you, right now? So if you're right now. Okay, let me go get them. <laughs> Your office is hot. Pardon me. Yeah, yeah. Just like a dream. For real, Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Hey, what are you doing here? I came to meet up with this girl, man. Mm. I'm happy to meet up with the girl. We're having lunch right here. Oh, really? Well, this is my favorite spot. I'm always here. For real, here. Yeah. We got good food here, man. Mm. How about your friend, um, Sly? Oh, Sly. He, he went to Abuja. We're trying to work out this business uh, deal with the Inspector General. I'm mm. trying to bring in some uh, gadgets to help the police out, like the, the bug-in pieces, the translators, the security cameras. Once the deal is done, we will sign it and bring it in. Fantastic. Up. I mean, that's, that's simply fantastic. Really, you know what? Bringing those things in is going to help out in coming crimes in this country. In this country. And that's it pays good. well. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Ah. Hey, can I buy you lunch, okay? On me. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Why? Right. You want me to eat before the girl gets here? Okay. Well, okay. Hey, let's not forget. Mm -hmm. I have my birthday party on the weekend. And I need you to be present. Weekend, you know, wait. This weekend, Saturday. At my new house. And I want you there, wait, but don't say no. Tell you what, I'll discuss this with my wife. And see if you can come. Great month. Okay. We 
between you and Can we just leave the wife thing out of it? Ah, there's something about the Bible that says all things will pass away, behold, all things will become new. I'm, I'm like a changed man right now. I'm, I'm kind of humble these days, okay? So, I, I don't think I can make it. Well, I appreciate it if you're there. Yeah, no problem. I need to post that for friends like you. You know what? I'll talk to my wife about it and I, I should be able to come. I just need you to be present. Okay. I'll try. Now you talk. All right. I'll try. Do you? I'll try. Deal. Saturday. I'll try. There we go. <laughs> Let him have this as if you're not going to leave him alone again. Babe, that guy is sweet. I mean, he is that poor. Really? Man, I was doing all that to make him feel that I'm in love with him now, so he can take good care of me. Good deal. Very, very good deal. No argument. You did the right thing. Yeah, um, I, I met your boss um, at the fast food joint today. Can you introduce us? Is he alone? Did he come with someone? Say that. I know where you're coming from. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you He was all alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless I forgot, um, Ben is having his birthday party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I need your help. I need you to help me serve the guests at uh, the party. Uh, I'm going to be working on something. Uh, but the party is for 6 p.m. Uh, that means you're safe because I'll close by 2 p.m. and I'll be right there. Wow. <laughs> you go. What? Don't let my good heart cause me sorrows. Tomorrow, okay. I'm very tired right now. Tomorrow? Uh, but this is what you've been saying for the past three weeks now. I don't understand what is wrong with you. I don't see how you will lay the foundation of everyday fellowship in your home 
we begin to backslide. Every day your love for the things of God is waxing cold. It's a very stressful day for me and I'm sorry, I said I will join you from tomorrow, okay? You neither read your Bible, you neither go to church, or even attend weekly services. What is like? What is wrong with you that you can't tell me, me, your wife? This is a stressful day. I've been stressed out. Stress. Did you say stress? Okay. Tomorrow will be another stressful day. From the things right now, tomorrow will be another stressful day. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? I really don't like that sound. Uh, that I feel in the last three weeks does not mean that I'm not serious to what I'm saying of my spiritual life. What I'm saying is. I'm tired, so tomorrow I will join you. Give it. Okay. Anyway, I I saw the pastor today, and he asked me to tell you he wants to see me. He wants to see me? Why? Is he about the mission? Yes. Get scared that something is wrong with my husband. I had no choice than to run to him. Yeah, yeah, just like a dream happened for me. Lord, give me sound. To see tomorrow Don't let me see Don't let me see Don't let me stray Don't let me Don't stray. let my good heart cause me sorrow